Today I'm going to do a shoot and review of my new toy, the Crossman uh, M417. Uh, I just got this bad boy. They've been on back order for a little while. Um, as far as I can tell, it's based on the 760 platform, which if you watch my other video, I'm already a fan of. So I have literally taken this thing out of the box, put the sights on it. I haven't even shot it yet. I am recording this for science, so let's take uh, five shots real quick, and then we'll uh, we'll talk about it. Wow, that's a much tighter group than I thought. I don't know if you can see this, but that's literally taken it right out of the box. So that's five under my thumb. So that's pretty good considering it's right out of the box with the stock sides. <clears throat> features obviously adjustable stock which is pretty sweet I mean obviously the gun looks the shit uh, it will fire BBs and pellets but it's got a rifled steel barrel so I will only use pellets uh, it uses the, the same clip as the 760 Pump Master, which is convenient because I already have another one of those, and I'll probably order a few more. Um, this thing here is a little storage container. It has some kind of a tool in it. I don't even know what that is yet, so I'll have to look into that. Like I said, I literally just took this thing out of the box. It's much easier to pump than the 760 because this is longer thereby giving you more leverage. It feels pretty good, even considering that it's plastic. It feels pretty solid. I don't have an actual AR. The only thing I have to compare it to is a classic army, uh, licensed Armalite, um, you know, uh, shit, airsoft gun modeled with a, with a licensed Armalite body, which has the real feel of an actual AR. As you can see, they pretty much look the same. They feel the same. This is two or three pounds lighter. But as far as ergonomically, when you're shooting it, it feels pretty much identical. I mean, they look really close. My only problem with it is these sights are not adjustable. So, what I can do, though, is I can get a sight like this, which actually has elevation and windage adjustments that I can bolt on the weaver rail. It's got a weaver rail on top, one on the foregrip, which is ridiculous because if you are pumping it, it whatever you mounted here would hit. So the only, I don't even know, I mean maybe an offset flashlight or something would fit there, but 
this weaver rail suite, this weaver rail in the front of the suite. The bottom one, maybe a low profile laser wouldn't hit, but other than that, it seems kind of pointless. But uh, my initial reaction out of the box is it's, it's pretty awesome. Um, I paid, I was on back order for a little while, so it took me a while to get this thing, but so far I'm really pleased with it. And uh, I know some people might not believe me, but I literally took out the box and recorded the first five shots. So uh, I'm pretty pleased with the accuracy, and uh, I'll do another video on it after I put about 500, 500 shots through it or so. Thanks for watching.